Hi guys, hope you're well. Welcome to Do Daily Friday. Attack the day. Des here. I did try to attack the day at 7 o'clock this morning. Unfortunately, the first video didn't upload. So everything I've said is going to come out in a completely different way and I'm going to be disappointed with not forgetting this or not getting this in. But, not to worry, I feel like I've had a great week so far on Do Daily. I'm really, really on top form right now. Really appreciate the, the feedback. We've had some great content this week. Um, managed to get involved in lots of activity too, which is really, really pleasing. I'm always better when I can get out running. And through the solidarity session and the Wednesday workout and the epic trail across the countryside, that's put me in a really good frame of mind. I'm tired mind, so I've got to just be mindful of that. Um, it's been a busy week, so I'm not complaining. It's, the reason I'm tired is because I've had lots to do this week. Um, lots to work on, Lot, like I say, lots of activity. So, looking forward to a bit of a rest at the weekend. Not got too many plans. Um, I'm, I am actually helping a friend out, so I will be going out for a run tomorrow who's doing an 100 mile ultra 100 miles virtually he was planned he was um planning on doing it in normal circumstances but of course it's not happening but he's decided to go ahead and with a lot of support from the do running community um people running 10k laps or 10 miles um alongside him throughout the day he's going to complete it that way with with some great support and encouragement and whilst, of course, it's an absolutely fantastic individual effort and really inspiring stuff, it's also going to be a great team effort in the fact that lots of people want to help out and get involved too. So looking forward to that. Like I say, other than that, not a, not a, a great deal to do. What I have done this week, what I really want to talk about today is that I've, I've had the chance to listen to lots of things and lots of people I mention all the time I listen to music and podcasts and and things, but but this week in particular I've managed to listen to people who inspire me. Do you know? Listen to their story. Monday motivation, of course. I passed on a story of a lady who who was told she'd never walk again, and now she's taking those first steps. And in the last few days, I've been talking to one or two people. The content from that will probably pop up. <laughs> in due course and and you'll see that but it's really sort of hit home to me that it's important to to keep listening to people whilst you think you might know best and sometimes like what i'm trying to do for this is advise and give out tips i keep saying i don't know best but sometimes when we're not feeling great what we tend to do is switch off a little bit and forget forget all that good advice and forget the tips and forget the people around us and by listening to people and listening to their story, it just reminded me of when I was um, not feeling fantastic. You know, I, I mentioned five years ago, this is kind of where it all started for me by not feeling great and then wanting to lose weight. And then that led on to running it and so on and so on. But I was thinking what I had to do at that point. And to be honest, the first thing I had to do was accept the situation. Do you know, it's hard to sort of it's hard to tell yourself that you're not feeling great and you're not feeling fantastic, but there comes a point where if you want to do anything about it, you have to accept that you're not doing the right things, the things you're doing sort of routinely uh, are probably not helping you because they're the things that are making you unhappy. And as soon as you accept that, and sometimes that takes listening to another person, you know, someone to tell us that we're not quite getting it right, and we can all be quite stubborn, we can all be quite sort of offended sometimes by it, but it's really important to keep listening, keep keep sort of taking on that advice. I remember I remember actually listening to something, I've said this before, a, a guy said to me, I, w I was looking at job interviews and worried about them, and a guy, I didn't particularly um, respect this guy, although I didn't disrespect this guy, um, it wasn't someone I particularly looked up to, but he said to me, um, lose two stone, um, when you go to these job interviews, you'll feel fantastic, you'll feel you'll feel like you can do all these things you know you can do, things that were getting me down before, things that was getting into my head, you know, and, and putting me off, um, 
And it was the best advice I ever had, to be honest. I said to myself, this year I'm going to lose two stone, and within two months I'd lost two stone. So it was small targets, bit by bit. But just listening to that advice, um, it, it took me on a journey, and then I started listening to more people, and I'm just grateful over time for all these things. So it, it's what I think, guys, it's really important. If you're not feeling fantastic, and, and the situation, do you know, it, it's like a roller coaster right now. One minute we're fine, one minute we're not fine, and we wonder why. We ask ourselves questions. Just talk to people, do you know, ask them to ask them to tell you what they think. It, I listened to a um a, a a small interview on local radio this week with uh, Dr. Elise Jones. Everyone knows Dr. Elise Jones from the television, and he was just it was it was only two or three minutes, but I think he really sort of nailed it in this interview. Um, the the presenter was asking about sort of all the all the most common sort of mental health issues right now, sort of working from home and should people be allowed in the pub and, and all these things and 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 whilst there's a lot of sort of sensationalization from the from the news coverage and which in turn uh causes a divide in opinion and, and gets people sort of bickering I guess. It's really frustrating to see that. But what Dr. Olivia Jones did was give a really, really balanced view. I did actually uh, retweet a link on the Do One in 19 Twitter page. So it might be worth looking up. It was just a really balanced view, like, particularly on things like going to the pub when the pubs reopened. He was really sort of realistic and he said, things I've said, to be honest, that it's not everybody causing the problem. It tends to be certain people and just a small minority. And it was just really sort of interesting to hear a guy who's obviously very professional, you know, a, consum a consummate pro, <laughs> Um, you wouldn't expect any other, to be honest, but it was just great to hear it. And again, it was just me sort of listening to someone. It's easy to switch off to these things, you know, and think we're absolutely fantastic and that, and, and we know best. But at the end of the day, we'll, we all need people to sort of push forward. And I've, I've mentioned that a lot this week, you know, using motivation and inspiration to sort of from other people, let that rub off on you to do the things you want to do, do you know. An incident, a couple of things within the group, not an incident, that's the wrong word, a couple of like comments in the WhatsApp groups for, for what we have for doing in have, have just led on to great things, you know. So as soon as that one bit of positivity lands, it almost um, <laughs> blooms into a lot more, you know. People get the knock-on effect and I'm always talking about being positive and, and, and just ignoring the negatives a little bit. And whilst we can't ignore absolutely everything that's going wrong out there, do you know, some of it doesn't need mentioning. Do you know, just listen to people you respect, listen to people um, who are in the know. Do you know. I've said lots of times, don't always listen to the news. They've, they've got an agenda and that's the problem, isn't it? People with agendas tend to sort of divide opinion and, and get us all sort of wondering what, what, what is right and wrong. So it's important to sort of realise who's there for you and who's there, who's not there for you. But what, I, what I'm really, really encouraging guys is if you're not feeling fantastic right now is just going into the weekend, listen to people, listen to what's there for you and um, and give it a real good go next week. You know, there's lots of people doing fantastic things and, and banging the drum all the time. I work with the guys that get out, get active and there's lots of sort of partners delivering different things, not just the do running offer. You know, I, I personally talk about sort of radio shows and things I watch and listen to, you know, podcasts. And all these things are being done to help you know, and, and once we realise that, you know, and once we sort of switch off from everything else and, and that stubbornness, we start making massive strides into what we want to do. And like I say, one positive action leads on to another. The uh, committing to take part in the uh, ultra event, ultra event tomorrow um, will have a massive knock on effect. Everyone will feel great throughout the weekend, hopefully take that into next week and it, it builds that team spirit. Do you know, of course, it only takes one thing to knock that down, and that's the thing you that we don't need to listen to. Do you know, the rules are changing slightly. We're getting there with with such things. We we're really sort sort of pressing ahead now. I've not checked them out properly, but these the rules changed yesterday with the latest covenant 
government announcements. So I'll be looking into that today. Like I said, I'll be having a break at the weekend, but also getting that activity in, and that's really important. As well as listening, do you know, if you get that activity and it's something you can really do for yourself, do you know, everybody feels great after doing some exercise, whether it's running or walking or cycling. And of course, we've got the Saturday selfie tomorrow to make it a bit more, a bit fun and quirky. What I want you to do this week, guys, is just show me that you're listening to something, whether you're running with your headphones in or you're running and chatting to your partner or you run in as part of this order or anything. Just just show me what you're listening to. Whether it's a podcast, just tag it in or a radio show. I'll be there with the dance songs on again. I feel like a real real good night in again. Of course, don't have the whole alcohol at the minute, but I'm feeling great about that too. I'm, I'm approaching 30 days, so I'm feeling really positive about that and it's making a real difference. Lost some weight. So bit by bit, I'm just making these changes. I want to sort of persevere and persist. So it'd be great if you can join us for the Saturday Selfie. Like I say, lots of great content coming up next week. Do tune in Monday. Um, really looking forward to that episode. So hopefully, you, hopefully you'll enjoy that. But for now, like I say, have a good one. Take care and make the most of it. Keep listening to people. It's really, really important. Thanks, guys. I'll see you soon.